Hi, John. Hi, Marcus. Thank you so much for um, taking your time to speak with us today. Uh, my family and I have been huge fans of the How to Train Your Dragon franchise since the very beginning, so I was thrilled about this series. Uh, Marcus, I love your character as D'Angelo. Um, my first impression of him when he came on the screen, I was like, oh my gosh, he has so much energy, and I loved that. Um, can you tell me, are you able to relate to D'Angelo's character? Um, I feel like uh, at certain levels, for sure, I can relate to D'Angelo. I feel like um, me and him, we, we care a lot about the people around us and want to uplift people as much as possible. Um, at the same time, D'Angelo is a lot better at sticking to schedule and um, following rules than I am. So um, I like to cause a little bit of mischief. I don't like, you know, I don't like things to stay too, too settled. Uh, but at the same time, D'Angelo um, and me, we definitely, um, I think we charge into the, the face of, of challenge um, and we try to bring other people with us. Okay, so I'm a mom of two boys, and I loved the relationship between Tom and um, Olivia. I feel you don't often get that type of relationship, a mother-son relationship on screen as much as you do with, with daughters, and so I really liked seeing that. Um, John, can you tell us if there, that um, storyline, like if it was inspired by something or how you came up with it? Uh, well, I am a son, and I have a mother. And uh, we are very, very tight. Um, when, we, when we entered into figuring out these characters and their relationships, you know, in the previous show, Hiccup and, and his father Stoic had an adversarial relationship. You know, it was, it was, a, it was a tough relationship between a, a tough father and a, and a son who had a different, a different way of doing things. Um, and as I, as I looked at this show, I really wanted Tom and Olivia to have a really close relationship. You know, they've traveled around the world together, you know, arm in arm, basically, and adventured all around. And I wanted them to be uh, very close, which is why it's it difficult for Tom uh, to, to keep the secret from his mother because he wants to tell her and he trusts his mother, but he doesn't necessarily trust the company that she's working for. And so that thrusts him into this, you know, difficult, pull you know of, of how much do I say because I as much as I love and trust my mom she's surrounded by people that I do not trust and so I felt like that created a fun dynamic Absolutely. Uh, with uh, with their relationship and also the tough spot that that Tom is placed placed in okay so dragons was produced um during a pandemic and um I was wondering if there were any challenges that you guys faced you know, throughout production because of the pandemic or if there were any advantages of working remotely? I mean, challenges absolutely across the board. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think if there are any positives. I was gonna say the same. Out of it. It's like, I don't know, a single positive, but we made it work, so. Yeah, th I mean, uh, professionally, I don't think that there were a whole lot of positives with being separated uh, as creatives you know we like to be together we like to be in the same room um, personally with all of the awful things that have come along with this pandemic the one silver lining for me was getting to spend you know a year with my kids that I probably wouldn't have had because they would have been off in the world and I would have been off in the world and so as bad as it's been if there's any silver lining it was an extra year of time that I spent with my kids that I probably would have never had. Okay, um, I would love to know from both of you, which dragon is your favorite from the series? Well, I'm, I'm gonna jump in and just say that I love Thunder. Um, I feel like Thunder is, uh, it's impossible for legacy fans to not put Thunder and Toothless up next to each other. Um, but I, I, have, I have grown to love Thunder um, so much. And I think that, that Thunder and Toothless are, are neck and neck for me now. And so I'm, I'm excited for, for the audience to see, to meet Thunder and to see just um, how playful and fun the dragon is. Um, I, I really, I, I relate uh, D'Angelo's uh, connection with Plowhorn to my own co connection with my, my dog Odin. So, um, you know, I just see so much lovability in that. And she's definitely like, uh, she's definitely strong and assertive, um, but at the same time, a heart of gold. Um, 
and she looks super sick i mean you got a freaking giant gym tusk like what else do you need um i love plowhorn thank you guys Thank <laughs> you.